There are multiple ways to configure this case, as you can see, but in this video I'm going to try to cover how to assemble most of them. If you have the power button with the USB ports or the power button with the LED light, the first step is still the same. Remove the plastic wrapping from both sides of each acrylic side panel. For step two, if you have the power with USB configuration, then you will place your front panel against the power and USB assembly and use the four small black screws to screw them together. If you have the power with LED, then you will take two of the same short black screws and screw it into the left support assembly. Step 3 adds the right support with two short black screws to both power button configurations. Step 4 adds the power button to the power with LED configuration by unscrewing the nut on the back of the power button and then placing the power button and the wires through the cutout hole and screwing the nut back on. Starting at step 5, the rest of the instructions will be the same for both power button configurations. Step 5 is to connect the front panel to the bottom panel by taking two more black screws and screwing them in through the bottom panel into the left and right support. For step 6, there are a couple different options for this side panel. I chose the HD Plex side panel, but you can also configure it with an SFX PSU side panel, however they both assemble the same way. To connect the panel, you add the GPU support bracket and screw in three more of the short black screws. For step 7, there are again multiple configurations, but they all install the same. To install this side panel, you take 5 screws and screw 2 of them into the right support bracket and 3 of them into the left support bracket. Step 8 again has several options, which seems to be the trend with this case. All assemble the same though. You set the last side panel in and take four more black screws and screw two into the left bracket and two into the right. Step 9 has two different options for the case feet. You can choose to use either rubber stick on feet or the plastic felt feet that screw into the bottom of the case. For this assembly, I chose to use the stick-on feet, which you just peel off and stick onto the bottom of the case. Step 10 is only if you chose the metal fan grill. You need to take the grill and put it into the case with a fan on it and screw the fan in through the case and the grill with the four fan screws. This will secure the metal grill to the case. So building this case ended up being pretty simple, honestly. It, the major thing that I've realized is just that there's tons of different options as far as the side panels, the top panel, backs, whatever. All these different configurations, there's a lot of different ways you can make this case so that you can make it very much your own. But as far as the differences between all the different options, they're all pretty similar to the way 
this how-to video described. Um, like I described, pretty much all these different ways of doing it are very similar. So if I didn't cover all the different ways of building this, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out how to assemble it from this video. I should have a full review of this case coming out very soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. And there'll probably be a slight build video mixed along with that. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still trying to figure that out, but I hope you guys like this video. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!